Hey everybody, Sunset Bay Bonnie here. Today's Friday, December 18th, and uh, Leslie Hunt and I have been chatting back and forth, and she um, had wanted to make me a sheath to put my monster ferro rod and striker in, so she sent me um, questions about the size that it was, the length, width, etc. And she's been working on it, and she announced that she had finished it and was eager to uh, have an unboxing and uh, get my reaction to what it was she has made for me. So uh, each day, <laughs> the past couple of days, it's, has the package came? Nope. Has the package came? Nope. <laughs> However, today, da, 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 there it is. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing and see what it is that Leslie sent me. Do what's in here. Bonnie, here is some fun stuff. The cotton pads peel apart easily. Gel wax is fun. Try it. The fat pine is from a hike here in Tennessee. I tossed in some different types of flint I had and other odds and ends. There is a special surprise in the little Altoids mini tin. Enjoy. Also, some loose fat wood so the box smells good. <laughs> Alright, let's look in the box. Alright, what's this? Heavy duty storage bags, two extra large bags. Now that is awesome because um, my son was complaining that um, the, the fat wood that I gave him was ripping out of the little, I had put it in gallon zipper bags, and he was complaining that um, he needed a bigger bag than a gallon zipper bag, and I was gonna order some on the internet and I totally forgot to. So look at that. We now have fat wood storage bags. That's awesome, Leslie. All right, what's this? This is, all right, I'll set this right here. That's the, um, the little Altoids tin, I think. Hold on. Cotton squares. Oh, these are cool. I'd seen, I want to say Tara Farley had these on her channel, the, cotton, the square ones, um, which I use the round ones for making, you know, the, for the fire starters with uh, fat wooden wax. And uh, the square ones are pretty interesting, so we'll have to see how these ones work. So, boy, she sent me a ton of them here, so I'll, I'm sure I'll have to uh, make some and, and send them to Leslie now that I've got all these cotton squares. Cool. Cool. Very, very pile, big pile of them. Thank you, Leslie. Um, wow. Are you kidding me? Get this camera out here, make sure I can get this in. Holy cats. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Holy cow. That is freaking gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Holy cats, look at this. I hope this works well for you. The toggles are magnesium in case you need it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, in case you ever need it. And there is copper cap glued into the bottom of the striker sheet to keep the striker from cutting the leather. Wow. This is a thing of beauty. All right, I have the uh, ferro rod and the striker over here. Let's see if uh, let's see if it fits. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. That's look, it was made for it because <laughs> it was. How cool is that? All right, let's get the striker. There's the striker. Cool. Yeah, I think that's what must be. It ties in a knot and it just kind of slips around the top of it, like that. You'll definitely have to let me know. Wow, that's perfect. Look at that. I have to pause here for a second and take a picture. I don't even know what to say. 
It's got it, okay. So it's got uh, okay. So there's a loop here for the belt, a, a belt which, and I told her I don't wear belts, and I was hoping it would have something where I could do a carabiner, or hook it on to like the, my a pack, or like a, a, maybe even put it like a carabiner loop through a belt loop on my pants, and then to this. So she put these uh, these uh, um, rings at the top, so that serves that purpose just phenomenally. Uh, there's one down here on the bottom. This is more of a decorative one, I believe. But I could also hang something from that if I wanted to. Um, this is just, it's just beautiful. It really is is just stunning. Um, I, don't, I know the camera is not doing it justice. Um, she asked me what color I, leather I said she was going to dye it, uh, uh, what color. And I, I said I liked black, and it looks really, I'm going to have to get this off of here. Um, This is really, really just just uh, mind blowing. It's got to be one of the, the best gifts I've ever received. Um, you know that someone's made for me um, with their own two little hands. Leslie, I I'm so grateful. I, I it's phenomenal. My son's gonna flip out when he sees this. <laughs> He's gonna be so jealous. Wow. I don't want to stop looking at it, but I got to go through the, the, the rest of the unboxing here. As if that wasn't wonderful enough, apparently there's more. And like I said, those toggles are magnesium. It's just, oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, and then I got a, here's a big bag too, so there's another bag to put fat wood in. <laughs> All right, let me set this over there. Um, uh, this one says, okay, here we go. This one says, to honor your heritage. Um... Where I live, hold on, let me change the camera here again, if I can. Where I live in uh, New York State is uh, south of Buffalo, but north of me, about, I don't know, a mile, is uh, an Indian reservation, and uh, it's Cataraugus Indian Reservation, and it's where my mother uh, originally grew up. Uh, my mother, being a Seneca Indian, she... Uh, her mother and father uh, took her to New York State, uh, New York City, and uh, when she was little, and that's where she spent the first few years of her life until her father uh, died in an accident. Um, he was one of the, uh, the high building workers. Uh, a lot of the Indians were hired to do that back in the day because they had no fear of heights. And they did a lot of the girder work, the welding work on a lot of the skyscrapers and the big buildings in New York City. And he was hit by a girder and uh, the, fell to his death. So they returned back to the reservation where my mother uh, grew up until she was old enough to leave, um, leave school and leave and strike out on her own. So uh, yeah, that's that's my heritage. Is that my mother is half half Indian. Her father was 100% Indian, and her mother was a white woman. This is the coolest package. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. To honor your heritage. There's a, it looks almost like a shoestring, but it's leather. That's kind of neat. It's, yeah, it's leather. And this is one of those teeny tiny little Altoids. I've never seen one of these yet. It's tiny little Altoid. What's in here? that down. The packaging is phenomenal. Another little envelope. Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna, uh, that's sharp too, wow. I'm gonna say that Leslie made this because she's a flint napper. Um, it's an arrowhead, and it has a nice little hook hanging off of it. And I'm guessing that this is so that you can hang it from your uh, make a necklace. Isn't that phenomenal? Look at that. Wow. These are some really well thought of gifts, let me tell you. Wow. That's very handsome. Again, Leslie, thank you so much. Wow. This is, uh, there's several things in here. All right, let me get this bag open here. 
Now she said something about gel wax, which I've never used before. Um, I've I've seen it. There. Okay. So she's got a bowl here. It's a little bowl, and it's got that gel wax in it, red gel wax, and she's got it all taped up. She was probably afraid it was going to open up in transit. You know how they are. They're so picky at the post office. They don't want nothing uh, getting out. But I think she was saying she was using this um, for fire starters, this gel wax. I've, like I said, I've never used it before. So this will be cool to play with. This. Oh wow, it is that. It's a little tiny solar charger. Isn't that amazing? We um, were talking about uh, solar panels and she said that she had come across one um, that was a small little solar panel that was good enough just to charge up your cell phone. That is the coolest thing. A little metal case. I had seen these little cases at uh, Dollar Store, I think. Um, and she's got a big clip on it. Let's see if I can get the... What am I, two weeks to get the clip off? There we go. <laughs> Let's see what's inside the box. This is like a, um, I call it yarn. I guess that's what it is. And this is a bunch of, let's see if I can get this camera. There we go. Um, uh, she said flint. Um, this is different looking to me. Now, to me, that re I recognize that as flint from what we have here. This other stuff, though, is fascinating looking. I've never seen anything like this other stuff. I, I'm sure it's flint, but I, I guess that during the uh, different parts of the country has different types. This is fascinating. Look at that. Again, my son's going to see this and he's going to flip out. He um, is just about as interested in everything as I am now, which is great because I love to see him find a hobby um, that not only does he like, but he likes it enough to share it with the kids. Uh, and we're planning on a video, um, even though this today it's the first day it's snowing, and we're probably going to get uh, not that many more great days, but we're still hoping to get a video showing everybody, uh, the kids, using ferro rods and strikers to start fires. They've been working on it, um, practicing, and they've been coming along pretty good with it. And, in fact, I have a project coming up here where I'm going to make all the kids their own uh, ferro rods and strikers. And then uh, that's when we're going to do a video showing you all how all of them have learned to do it. Um, I don't know how well uh, little Josh is doing with his learning because he's only three. I was sniffing it just now. It doesn't really have a smell. It does vaguely. Um, again, like when I had done the fat wood comparison, that wood that was sent to me from Pine Fire or John Caps or um, Howard from Cabot, Cabot Bluegill, that's like, uh, I want to say fresh fat wood, why it is, and, and it's why it has a smell. Whereas other fat wood, the, you know, once it sits for a while, um, the smell sort of dissipates until you either break the wood open, scrape it, or whatever. But this is uh, an interesting color fat wood, it's very dark. I, I would say this is the darkest fat wood I've ever seen. Fascinating. And that's why I say fat wood is so cool. You, I mean, people don't realize there's so many different types of it. They just assume there's one variety and that's it. But no, there's many, many different types. And each one has um, properties that differ as to how it, <clears throat> the color, the smell, the burn capacity. That's awesome. Of course, fat wood always makes me happy. And then there's another bag. Oh, there's a piece there, too. And the grain pattern, too. Um, this is probably, well, it's smaller than my finger. But if you, if I can get this camera, there we go. See the grain pattern in that, how tight it is? I put all that other fat wood away already, but um, it's definitely not that tight of a pattern. So I wonder what kind of wood, what kind of tree this came from, that it has such a tight, tight pattern. 
And then here's a bag. Oh, look at this. There's a big old chunk of fatwood here in this bag. That's cool. This is the one she said she found hiking uh, in Tennessee. So I, uh, the, my first Tennessee fatwood, I guess I'd have to say. Isn't that an awesome piece? Look at that. Ooh. And this is lopped right off of where it must have, I'm guessing this was a branch. And here's a knot where it met the tree, I'm guessing. Not that I'm so knowledgeable. Look at that. And that's very interesting looking. It doesn't look like my other fatwood. Wow. There. Goes like that. And the color is a different color than, than the other fatwood that I have as well. Isn't that something? And we've got a bunch of jute twine. One can never have enough jute twine, I think. I use it for all kinds of things, besides the fact that everybody likes to use it for fire starting. Um, I was using it in my garden and tying plants up with originally. And then I'm watching videos where everybody is taking jute twine and uh, fraying it out to use for a fire starter material. And I'm like, huh, what do you know? <laughs> so much for your kindness, for all the gifts. That um, The pouch for my ferro rod and striker is phenomenal. The craftsmanship on that, it's just beautiful. I, I couldn't have... I couldn't change a thing about it. I couldn't have dreamed it would come out as well as it did. It really is awesome. First goodie I'm going to play with. I'm going to read the instructions on that charger for the cell phone thing. Well, there you have everybody. Leslie Hunt, what a wonderful woman. She's a, a, a very kind individual, a very thoughtful individual, and she just loves to do crafts and projects, um, much like the rest of us out here in the YouTube bushcrafting community. And whether I'm out in the woods trucking around, which I'm not, I still like to consider myself part of that community, and um, this stuff is just amazing. Um, projects, projects, projects. Thank you again, Leslie, and Merry Christmas.